I'm going to talk to you about decisions. I'm going to ask you to help me make decisions. Um, I have, let's assume that I have, oops, let's take this off here. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. This is what you know. Um, I want you to help me decide what I should do tomorrow. Should I go? Should I go to a movie? Or should I study? Okay. Now let's assume that you know uh, what my utility, what my enjoyment is. And, and I could translate that in dollars. Right? So if I golf on a rainy day, I, I have an enjoyment of $20. If I, so off on a sunny day, I get enjoyment of 80, worth $85. If I go to a movie on a sunny day, I get enjoyment of only $15. While if I go to a movie on a cloudy day, I get enjoyment of $80. So it's pretty simple. So I'm asking you just to help me. What should I do tomorrow? Based on this, please, not based What's on this. What should be important? I'm sorry. What should be important? I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm really bad at meteorology, so... Play Do both? Well, I can only do one. Play golf. Play golf. Why golf? It's what? It's Okay, so you're playing with probability. Let's assume, and, and that's certainly a good idea, and we'll, we'll get to that in just a bit. Uh, you, you're, you're assuming that in Texas the probability is very high that it will be summer. That's good. good. Good choice, but let's assume you didn't know. There was no probability. Do whatever you want. Based on those numbers. Hmm? Why? You have to explain why. I mean, because I assume that all of them are equally probable, then it is the highest expected utility. Okay, so is, is you're working again with it. You're sort of set on your probabilities here. Uh, but basically what you do is, again, probabilities. Let's assume you don't have probabilities. How would you make decisions? You should work hard. Why should I work? Because the weather is governed by a demon who will make the state of nature comport to whatever gives you the lowest. In this case, if you work, you'll get 35 because it will be sunny. Whereas if you choose anything else, God will punish you. <laughs> so this is the good, pessimistic, conservative approach. Right? Um, you look at what is the worst that can happen to me, right? 25. And if I go to a movie, the worst is 15. If I work, the worst that can happen is 35. I should work. Right? Any other choice? As it, I think, rains. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, the other approach would be more. I still think you should go because it brings you the most joy. Well, that's positive. There we go. The conservative, the pessimistic, and the positive approach. I look at you know, what can give me the most enjoyment. And obviously, if I look golf, the maximum enjoyment is 85, the maximum enjoyment is 80, the maximum enjoyment is 70. Right? So we have the conservative approach, we have the uh, optimistic approach. There is one more approach here that we can do without any probability, again, assuming we have no probability, and that is looking at regrets. What is the biggest regret I will have? And so if I choose to golf and it's rainy, what's my regret? Well, the best I could have done was, I sh what, what should I have done if it was rainy, if I knew it was rainy? I should work, right? So I get a difference of 50, right? So I'm losing the opportunity of 50. I went to a movie, I'm losing the opportunity of 15. And so what you do is you build uh, what is referred to sometimes as a regret table. And you hope that, there we go. I already created one. There we go. And basically you can do this in Excel. And if you have found this Excel, you say, well, I want to deduct this from the maximum of this. And hoping that this is correct. And as we said, 50. And I'm going to copy this just over here. So if I move this a little up so you can see it. Well, if I choose golf, what's 
what's the biggest regret I can have? 55. If I go a movie, the biggest regret I will have is 70. If I work, the biggest regret I will have is 50. Therefore, if I want to have the least amount of regret, I should go study. Which is kind of fun. <laughs> I regret to inform you <laughs> that you have, I don't know, you've been going five and a half, so All right, pretty good. So one, just quickly show you the other one here. The other thing you can do is add hopefully not on high. You can add probabilities, and most of you have already mentioned that. You want to have probabilities, so let's assume that, is, that there is a probability like that. Then you can calculate expected value, uh, which is basically the weighted average based on the probability. And I just create random probability, again, assuming that in Texas it's mostly sunny. Right? And in which case, now you should, again, the off. So expected value seems to indicate Play golf. Now, what you can the, the, there's one more thing here that um, is in there. What should I do if I knew the weather? If I could make the decision after I knew the weather? Well, it depends, right? So, if it's rainy, I should do work. If it's sunny, I should play golf. If it's cloudy, I should go see a movie. Now, if I do the expect, expected value of my decision, if I know that information, then I get the expected value with perfect information. And if you subtract that, you get the value of the perfect information. And that's kind of like the basic ideas of decision theory that I uh, wanted to uh, tell you about today. That's it.